what changed my life was education. I was a teenage mother who found herself at one point homeless with two girls and nowhere to go. It was really my daughters that helped me in that darkest moment and I realized for them I had to rise up. I had to get up. Trauma can impact anyone. It does not discriminate. You might see the children act out in school and label them the quote unquote bad children when they're just trying to deal with their trauma. For me, it's near and dear because as a teenager um, in a middle school who was bullied, the way that I dealt with my trauma was cutting. I wish I had somebody to say, you're not a bad person. You're just trying to deal with what you're going through right now. And so here, let me give you another way of dealing with it. So one of the things that we did here at Forest Hill was uh, we made sure that each teacher was trained in um, helping children identify their emotions. The red zone is angry, the blue zone is like sad, and the green zone is like when you're happy. We all had this shared language so that we don't have to run away from the trauma. We can identify it and address it, and then our children in the end will win. I always say we live off of love. Love simply meaning living on village energy. What we found was so many kids during the pandemic felt alone. So I decided to go out in the park where the kids were and start reading to them. I had one girl who said, you know what, can I have this book? And it just hit me. They don't have the access to books. And so started giving out books. We're giving out calming bags in Camden. One day I just put it out there that I needed certain items to help children self-regulate. And donations came in from out of everywhere. I decided, well, not just to hold it to my students, let's do it to the community. And to hear the students be able to say, Ms. Rockman gave this to me to calm me down, but when I squeeze it, I can relax. I can take away the tension. I can take away the fear. And I'm excited this morning to announce that Ms. Fatima Abdul Rahman has been selected as one of the top five award winners. She loves them, but she also directs them. And she constantly, on a daily basis, encourages them. I noticed a lot of our girls were having some trouble, and they were getting suspended at a very high rate. And so I began a, a program called PEARLS. It stands as an acronym that they are precious, they're elegant, they are attractive, both inside and out, resilient, and they are leaders, ready for success. And we would just talk about things that would empower our girls to give them a voice. I also have a scholarship fund where I give out $1,000 to teenage mothers because I believe that education can change the lives of the mothers and their children. She knows what it feels like to be in a hopeless situation. And she knows a lot of the children come from homes where there may not be hope, where they may not see any encouragement, where they may not have a figure there to give them the natural love that they need to push them forward. So she shows that with every child. Like just her presence, just being around her makes you happy, it's like good energy. Thank you for the life changing you I'm extremely humbled and honored. It's just in my blood, education and serving. The work is not finished, it's not done, and I'm always looking for opportunities to serve. <laughs>